students welcome to yet another interesting video so in this class i'm going to be talking about rational numbers between two rational numbers so it's a very interesting topic but before i start this there is an important update it's regarding the byju's mini learning program which is absolutely free for now but it's a limited period offer and to avail this you have to use the code yt free all in caps over here now what all benefits we are getting here so two teacher advantage one on one guidance from the personal mentor interactive live classes and after class assignments and assessments will also be shared also the best thing is you are getting three sessions absolutely free of cost choose the class timings as per your convenience and for whatever subjects you want to take the class for that's up to you and the link for this is given in the description please do go check that out and i hope that you have joined the telegram channel if you haven't yet please do join it so many benefits we have here the sessions that we do here session pdfs would be shared over the telegram channel some interesting quizzes revision questions sunday fun day facts homework question and of course session pdfs you would be getting over there link for this as well is given in the description please do go join it for now let's get started with our topic how to find rational numbers between two rational numbers Let's suppose if I have to find out the rational numbers between one and four, what will we do in that case? So one and four, there are only two numbers, two and three. But if you think about it, let's draw a number line, right? One is here, four is here. Now we cannot say that only two numbers are lying here. We know that one could be written as one by one, four could be written as four by one. So what I'm going to do here is, let's suppose I'm going to make the denominator same. Let's suppose if I multiply the denominator here by ten, I'll multiply the numerator also by ten. that's what we do similarly i'll make a denominator here as well 10 i'll multiply in the numerator as well so we get 10 by 10 40 by 10 now both of them have got the same denominator just look at the numerators between 10 and 40 we have got 11 by 12 by 10 12 by 10 13 by 10 so on till 39 by 10 so we can say that 39 rational numbers are in between 1 and 4 with denominator 10 right but let's suppose are only 39 rational numbers possible No, it's not like that. Let's suppose, as I said, it is one by one. So let's say this time, and this is four by one. If I multiply by hundred instead of ten, what will be become? Hundred by hundred, four hundred by hundred. The denominator is same between hundred and four hundred. There are so many rational numbers possible: one zero one by hundred, one zero two by hundred, one zero three by hundred. So on three nine nine by hundred. So in all, three nine nine rational numbers are possible with denominator hundred. So what do we understand from here? That there are indefinite rational numbers between any two rational numbers, right? You just have to apply the simple thing that I did here. Now. So this is one of the way that we have already learned about, right? Now there are two methods to find this out. One is the method that we just talked about, concept of equal fra equivalent fraction by making the denominator same. Another method is the taking the mean of rational numbers. All right, now let's try out a question. So I'll be trying this with both the methods. Find a rational number between one by five and one by two using the concept of equivalent fraction. I have one by five and one by two. What we just learned that first we make the denominator same. So Let's take LCM. That's going to be ten. So let's make the equivalent fraction uh, here. So one by five times two by two, and here as well one by two times five by five. Because we are making the denominator ten, so I'll multiply by two here and five here. Whatever I'm multiplying in the denominator with, I'll multiply with the same number in the numerator as well. Similarly here, that's going to be two by ten and five by ten. Now denominator is same between two and five. I've got three by ten, four by ten. I can say that these can be the required rational numbers. so this is the concept of equivalent fractions that we used in the previous slide also now let's use a question here find rational numbers between 1 by 7 and 2 by 3 using the concept of mean as we all know what mean is mean is nothing that's the average of the numbers right how do we find the average you add the numbers right let's suppose i'm giving these two numbers i'll add them up and i'll divide by 2 that's how we find the average right so mean method these are the two numbers let's add them up and divide by 2 now addition can't be done directly right because you can see that they are in fractions denominators are different first we will make the denominator same what i can do here is that i can multiply this by 3 and this by 7 similarly like you take an lcm since you are multiplying by 3 in the denominator multiply by 3 in the numerator since here i am multiplying by 7 in the denominator so i'll have to multiply by 7 in the numerator also what does this become we get this divide by 2 now you just have to simplify this 1 times 3 is 3 right 2 times 7 is 14 and in the denominator that same it's 21 so we have 3 by 21 plus 14 by 21 divide by 2 what this is going to be 3 plus 14 by 42 how come i'm getting 42 let me just simplify this so 3 plus 14 in the numerator 
this is getting divided they have a common denominator 21 this is getting divided with 2 and we all know that when we remove the division symbol we change I mean when we change the division symbol to multiplication the number after that gets reciprocal that is flipped so 21 times 2 is going to be 42 that's how we are getting this so we get 17 by 42 so this will lie between this 17 by 42 will lie between 1 by 7 and 2 by 3. Let's suppose I want to find one more rational number between 1 by 7 and 17 by 42. I'll be using the same method like we did for the previous numbers. Let's add them up and divide them by 2. While adding, be careful, this is 42. I can write this as 7 times 6. So since this is 7 times 6, let's multiply 6 in the denominator here. So I'll have to multiply 6 in the numerator as well because I'm making their denominators similar. Rest everything. So 1 times 6 is 6. Denominator is going to be 52. 6 plus 17. Let me just simplify this for you. 6 plus 17. Denominator is 42. This is getting divided with 2. Or you can say 2 by 1. Once you change, I mean, this division symbol to multiplication, you get what? 6 plus 17 by 42 into 1 by 2. 42 times 2 is nothing but that's 84. That's how we are getting this. So 23 by 84 is going to lie between this 17 by 42 and 1 by 7. So these are the rational numbers that we have. So this was very simple to understand. Two methods we discussed here, but in case you have any doubt, please post your doubts in the comment section below. And if you're liking these videos, please hit the like button, share it in your school groups with your friends as well. And do subscribe the channel if you haven't yet, so that you do not miss any new updates from us. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.